Hey YouTube, this is Maddie's Daddy 12. I am Jason, and we're gonna try to move a little closer to our goal today by hitting up some thrift stores to try to find some stuff for us to sell on our eBay page, uh, and possibly through Facebook Marketplace and uh, anywhere else that we can sell it from, right? Uh, we are gonna do some thrifting today. It's just me, uh, no Maddie, no Janelle, no Jaden. Uh, Peggy's at home doing homework. So it is just me, and I'm outside of New Life Thrift Store here in Owensboro, Kentucky. Um, this we don't hit this place up very often because they're normally just a little bit, just a little bit too far uh, out of reach for us to make any money on anything. But I still do like stopping here and uh, and shopping here as often as I can, which is really not that often. Um, but I do like trying to stop here as often as we can because this place is completely funded through the New Life Church here in Owensboro, and they do a lot of stuff for the homeless and the less fortunate. So I do try to stop here as often as I can, but normally I don't buy a lot of things to resell because, like I said, they're normally just a little too high. But the stuff is always really high quality, so I can always really find some stuff for myself. So let's head in here and see what we can find. 25. Yeah, I love that. That's pretty cool, though. I believe that should have a power cord. Yeah, that one was a little disappointing. Everything was just, just hair. Guys, I'm telling you, it's just hair too much for me to be able to make any profit on. Uh, there was some stuff that they had that was 50% off. Um, well, it was half price. And then you get an additional 20% off of everything you bought. Um, so you had the potential to make some uh, some pretty good deals in here. But it was stuff like they had a, a Kurt Warner jersey. I don't know if I got a film of it or not. Um but they had it originally priced for $12 with a slash, so it was $6. You get an additional 20% off, so, like, you don't, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's another dollar fifty off, so, I mean, I get it for, like, four fifty, but I just, I don't know that I would sell for, I would need to make, I would need to sell it for 15 to 18 in order to make any kind of a decent profit on it after fees and everything, so, I don't know. Uh, on to the next, guys. We'll see if we can find anything else somewhere else. That's interesting.
two bucks for an ashtray. Like, man, I just don't know. striking out today guys like this is my uh, uh this is actually my fourth stop even though i uh i've only got footage from i believe two places this is actually my fourth stop um my first one was salvation army which is closed until tuesday i'm sorry wednesday so uh can't shop there <laughs> And then uh, I had a couple others that just weren't anything. And one of them I didn't even get any footage from. Uh, this one was kind of the same. Like, just not a whole lot of stuff in there that was worth my time. So, uh, let's see if we can hit up one more Goodwill before we head home. Uh, and uh, maybe my luck will turn around. Alright, guys. I haven't been to this location in a little over a week. So, uh, let's hope that we can uh, have a little better luck today. Been kind of rough these last couple stops. Oh, Daniel Tiger. Not vintage because it's got something inside of it. Hmm. I don't know. Generous Bears jersey. Oh. All right, guys, we're back home. Um, not a real great day of thrifting. Uh, the only things that I picked up are right here. After three or four stops, I don't know. I don't even know how many I went to. 
Uh, but the only things I picked up is right here. Uh, I ended up picking this up. I remember watching this when I was a kid. Uh, follow that bird. Uh, big bird, like, runs away, and they have to go find him. I remember watching it as a kid. I want to introduce Janelle to that. Uh, and two bucks. It's whatever. Um, I bought these vintage tennis rackets. Uh, this is a Wilson uh, Chris Everett. There you go. Everett. Uh, Chris Everett champion uh, tennis racket. Uh, it's the wooden frame. Uh, 70s, I would believe. Uh, this one is a Wilson Legacy. This one's in really good shape for uh, as old as it is. This one is uh, late 70s also. Uh, wooden frame. Uh, this one actually has the original little cover. Uh, this one is an AMF head cover. Uh, this one does not match the Wilson uh, tennis racket. But I paid $4 a piece on those. Um, not something I normally deal in. But with them being vintage, uh, this one uh, is something I'm, I'm willing to take a risk on. Uh, the comps on this one was around 30 to 35. Uh, and the comps on this one with the uh, leather uh, head cover is around 40 to 45. I've seen one that was in like pristine condition that sold for 50. Uh, and this one's actually not that far from it. This one's obviously been used but uh, is still in really good shape. So uh, I might actually be able to get around $40 out of that one. So that's it, guys. That's all we got today. Uh, I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below, hit up the description, and check out the uh, link to our eBay page where you'll be able to check out all of this stuff and possibly buy it if you want it. Uh, Instagram's down there also, along with Dylan's eBay page and a, a link to Tyler's instagram page to where you guys can buy my uh, old Yu-Gi-Oh cards if you'd like so i appreciate it guys subscribe comment down below show us how much you love us